Well, this is the first video of the new year, so why not talk about one of the first anime I ever watched, and that is a fantastic transition that was definitely not uh, thought up on the fly. So, I'm going to be talking about Yamakun and the Seven Witches, and why I think it's actually, like, really good. Now, yes, I do have some bias, both recency bias and nostalgia bias, because I've rewatched it recently, and also it was one of my earliest anime that I watched. So, take what I say with a slight pinch of salt, as I am definitely jaded in one way or another especially given that the show has a bunch of my favorite voice actors in it, such as Saoichiro Miyuki, uh, Hayami Saori, Kitamura Eiri, um, Hanazawa Kana. Like, this uh, show's voice cast is as stacked as the Monogatari series, simply because, well, there's a lot of the same voice actors in it, which, uh, you know, well, of course, that's how it's, how it's going to work. If, one has a stacked voice cast and they have the same voice cast, they both have a stacked voice cast. But that's a, re a completely you know, tangential point. Um, the voice cast is fantastic and they all do an incredible job of getting across the personalities of their characters and also they're all really good voice actors. The script writing um, is brilliant. It Again, the lines and scripting in the show are really well done. I really enjoyed it. I haven't read the manga so I can't say how good of an adaptation it is. Um, I plan to at some point. But as of right now, uh, no, I haven't. But I really enjoy the story of Yamada, which is, um, so there's a kid who's a delinquent at his uh, school, and basically he has no friends, he's completely alone, he's a delinquent, uh, rough around the edges type kid. And um, one day, while walking around the school, he sees the honor student, uh, Shiraishi, and is kind of like pissed off at her because she is like the embodiment of perfect boring student. So he like storms past her up the stairs, falls down the stairs, and wakes up in the uh, nurse's office inside her body, and basically goes around trying to ruin her image, uh, but finds out that actually she's kind of got it rough too. She's bullied a lot, doesn't have many friends like at all, and isn't in the best of spots either, just like him. He also finds out that she's in his body, because they've switched bodies. And basically, it is deduced that Yamada's ability is to switch bodies. Uh, they later figure out that it is by kissing. Obviously, as you watch the series, you'll find out uh, the truth of this ability and how it's not quite as simple as that. Um, you'll also meet more uh, witches, as they're called, people with these abilities. And they're all great characters, and the abilities are all very interesting. And they all have their own arc, which takes place within a single episode. At least for the most part, it's a single episode. The last arc is a bit longer with the seventh witch, and Shiraishi's is also a little bit longer. But for the most part, they all get one episode arcs. Um, one episode is slightly longer than the rest because the arc that it is adapting is longer um, than the other ones, but it does get cut down quite a bit from what I've heard, and a lot of the character development around that um, arc is cut short, which is why I want to read the manga to get more out of it. But I highly recommend you watch this series. It's a genuinely really good watch. It's a ton of fun. The opening slaps. The ED is a good song. The characters are fantastic. There's tons of brilliant waifus, tons of brilliant witch waifus as well, if that's your thing. Uh, the character designs are also fantastic, like, they all look amazing. So I genuinely recommend you go give the show a watch if you haven't. I believe it's relatively popular, so odds are you have seen it. But, in my opinion, I really like it. Again, it was one of my earliest anime, and an anime I've rewatched very recently. So I am a little bit biased in terms of my opinion of it. But if you like this video and you like Yamada-kun, uh, leave a like, comment, sub, hit the notification bell, you know, the usual YouTube thing. And with all that said, I've been Adam Mosley, you've been you. I'll see you all next time for another video. Ta-ta, for now.